Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I wanted to do my I think only holiday look I'm gonna be able to get up um, but I wanted to do just the classic holiday look glitter on the lids and a nice red lip um, I hate wearing red lips with braces but I just couldn't do this look without a red lip so I hope you guys enjoy it. I'm gonna go take this off now and eat something because I'm starving. But anyway, uh, when you watch this, I think I'm going to be two weeks out of surgery. So yeah, good news is they only did the lower jaw. Hallelujah, praise the Lord Jesus. I am happy. But anyway, if you wanna see how I got this glam, holiday look then please keep watching okay my base is already done i moisturize with my bobby brown use the becca backlight filtering primer and then use these two foundations the urban decay and studio skin and then bronzed with the charlotte tilbury palette now i'm going in with makeup geek peach smoothie and creme brulee with a fluffy e40 brush and just blending that all over the upper crease area now I'm going in with Cocoa Bear with a slightly smaller brush. This is the Sigma E25 or, or E35. And we're just gonna focus that on the outer V and then slowly drag it into the inner corner. And just keep adding as much product as you want to add the depth that you want. Now going in with the E40 again and just blending those edges with no additional product. Now we are going in with Chickadee. I just wanted to add a little bit of warmth and I love adding this yellow color into the crease and just helping blend those other colors. It looks really pretty. And now just going in with Americano, which is just a very dark, almost purpley based brown color and focusing that on the outer V. I'm using a Sigma E25 brush, which is slightly smaller than the last one we used and a bit more tapered. Focusing that on the outer V area, darking that up, adding more and just keep going back and forth and adding more to, until you get the depth and darkness that you want. And then I'm gonna go back in with a fluffier brush and blend it all out. Just keep adding it until it's what you want it to look like. You can do darker than this, you can add black. I just wanted to keep it brown and simple. And like I said, I'm going back in with the E40 and blending it out. Now taking a clean Makeup Forever 242 brush and blending it out some more. Now going in with the foiled eyeshadow from Makeup Geek Magic Act and a MAC 242 and just packing that all over the lid. This is just gonna be the base for the glitter that we're gonna use later. This is my favorite brush for packing these shadows on or pretty much any shadow. I love the MAC 242. Now going back in with the Sigma E25 and just marrying those two colors together. Now we're gonna do a winged liner with my Inglot gel liner in number 77 and we're using the Duraline to kind of revive it. It's my new best friend. I love that stuff. Definitely worth every penny. But you guys have seen me do wing liner before. I just draw out from the corner of my eye pull it out and then drag it back in towards the lid. Now we're going in with the glitter. We're gonna use Too Faced Glitter Glue and MAC um, Reflex Gold Glitter. It was in a limited edition packaging from Christmases a couple years ago or Christmas a couple years ago. I'm just using an inner corner brush from Sigma and packing that all over the lid. And just keep going back and forth until you get the op opacity that you want with the glitter. And take your time with this, don't rush. Um, the more you rush, the more fallout you're gonna get, the more messy it's gonna get, so just take your time. Now I'm just touching up the liner where any glitter may have fallen on it because that is a pet peeve of mine. I hate glitter on top of my liner. And now I'm just taking a very small taper brush. I can't remember the name of it, but it's Sigma, it's really small, and adding more of that Americano shade to that outer V and deepening it up more. and blending it out with the Sigma E35. And 
and blending some more with the Makeup Forever 242. This is my favorite brush for just blending out. I never use any shadow on it. Now going in with Mirage, which is just a very pretty cream colored. It has a slight bit of sheen to it, not shimmer, but it's not truly, truly matte. And we're just popping that on the brow bone with the, again, the MAC 242. And then we're going to go into that highlighter from the Charlotte Tilbury um, Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And we're just going to tap that on the high arch of the brow just to add some little pizzazz. Now I'm going to add lashes. These are my new favorite. They're the Velour Hey Shorty Lashes. I love these. They're full, they're thick, they're dramatic, but they're not too big for my small eyes. So definitely been loving these. What a difference lashes make, my goodness. Now going in with the Ardency and Monster Eyeliner and putting that on my lower lash line. This is a very, very creamy eyeshadow. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I still think I like my NARS um, Via Veneto better. Now going in with Creme Brulee and, oh I'm sorry, I lied. We're going in with Americano again and with a flat definer brush and just pushing that all into that lower lash line and smudging it into the black liner we just did. Now we're going in with uh, Makeup Geek's Cocoa Bear and a pencil brush and blending over top of that. And then after that, we're gonna go in with creme brulee and do the same thing and just blend over top of that again and just keep blending and blending until it is the consistency and the blown out effect that you want. Now going in with that highlighter again and just popping that on the inner corners. And adding some mascara to the lower lashes because I think it looks weird when you don't have mascara on your lower lashes and you have falsies on top. Now I'm going in with Sun Bisque from MAC. This is my favorite blush to wear when I'm wearing red lips. I feel like it just complements it so well. So I'm just using a small Sigma Duo Fiber brush to blend that right on top of my cheekbones. And then I just use a fluffier brush to blend it out. Now highlighting with the same highlighter as we used earlier on the cheekbones. Gonna highlight down the bridge of the nose, the tip of the nose, and the cupid's bow, and a little bit on the chin. I love this highlighter. It's not too much. It's very just beautiful, but not like bam in your face. I think it just looks kind of more subtle than my Becca ones that I love. Okay, now I'm lining my lips with Max um, pencil in half red, and I did have more clips of this, but I was out of frame, so sorry. This is what you get. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be going in with my favorite red lip, which is Seraphine from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and then setting all of that with Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is my favorite. Here's the finished look. I hope you guys loved it. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe, and I'll see you guys real soon. I love you. Mwah.